Good evening, one and all. It's Friday. It's the end of the week chat, and that means once again we're joining into uh, surprisingly enough more No Man's Sky. And once again, I just this this freaking game, this freaking thing. Uh, when I put this onto the pause menu earlier, it had some nice gentle music playing, and I was like, yeah, that'd be great. Have a bit of nice gentle music, get us going into it all. That'd be that'd be wonderful, right? Because I still can't tab out and keep the audio. I've tabbed out now, the audio just vanishes. The whole game just decides to shut down when I tab out. Ah. But no, no, as soon as I come back to it, as soon as I start the stream, it's decided, yeah, it's done with that bit, and it just stops. So we, j we just have some background sounds. Also, interestingly, um, the daytime continues to turn when paused, because it's not a true pause, even though every object, like that ship, you saw it in the middle there, there was a ship coming up and around, and it's still there. I pause, I unpause, it's, it's still there. So it is a pause, but it also isn't a pause, because the, the day-night cycle doesn't pause. And now we get the music back again. I just, I don't understand this game. What, what's good? What? You can magically make aliens experience jet lag? Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. It's just... Uh, all I wanted was just pour it onto some music. I mean, it made a sound a second ago. It made some musical... And then it's gone. And, and then it's gone. So, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. So if I pause, I'm making a flying spaceship time travel? Yeah. I pause the time segment and create the... Sorry, pause the space segment and create the time segment and then when I unpause they swap back around again so instead of traveling through space and falling through time it pauses in space and falls and travels through time yeah whatever I, I don't know I tried having a look as for a just general music menu it's like I come, I come out and it's like doo -doo -doo. come on I, I tried popping out, it's like, you know what, let's uh, see, maybe there's something along here. I, I looked around and around and around, I was like, oh, what's, what's up, what we got over here? Multi-tool, secondary weapon, torch, camera view, bite beat library, maybe this is music. Oh, tracks, oh, that could be wonderful. What kind of tracks are these? Okay, that's a bit terrible. Okay, how about, maybe not that one, dreamers, you know, that feels almost warframey. How about that one? Okay, are they are they all going to be this kind of... Right. And that's as far as I got with that one. Yeah, you know what, fair enough. No, let's not touch the bite beat. That sounds like a... Yes, it does sound like a ringtone, doesn't it? Like, turn of the millennium ringtone, rather than music. It's like... No! No! So, yeah. Uh, once again, this game perplexes me in its uh, approach to design. Cheers, Gatom. Now, for those of you who are here at the end of last stream, you'll remember and recognize Basima Base Face the Third. Such a perfect name. Such a perfect name. Basima Base Face the Third. Uh, however, I have done a little bit more work with Basima Base Face the Third. Uh, that's a problem. I'm gonna have to fix that in a second. That, oh, that, oh, no, oh, I know what, no. I know what's happened there. Because I paused when it was daytime and now it's nighttime and now this isn't operating, is it? Oh, for God's sake. You forgot how loud this game is? Uh, yeah, I've tried to manage the volume levels, so I should be coming through okay, but if, if, has it all gone up again? Why does it keep. I haven't even changed these! They're down! I brought them down last time. Why is everything loud now? Well, at least it's getting daytime. We're gonna get power again. There we go. Power is beginning to feed through. This will wake up eventually. Maybe. There we go. 26, 25, 24. Why? Don't go down. Don't go down. But yeah. Uh, Travel options. Oh, we don't need that any lower. Let's try that. 
Now there is a normal generator item, yes, there is. That's the generator I got right here. It's just, everything was fine. All of this was fine because it was daytime moments ago, as far as I'm concerned. But then, I, of course, I paused the game and it paused everything except for time. And so as soon as we Excellent unpause time... Yeah. This will help our cause. Animatic, thank you very much for the 500 bits, though, my dude. Cheers on that a lot. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. The atmospheric wind is louder than my voice? Surely not. What? It wasn't like that earlier. It was not like that last stream. Okay, what was that piercing noise? What was that piercing noise? I did not need that in my ears. That's what I don't understand with this game. It's just... All of the bits and pieces are just designed to confound me in the settings. I just want to enjoy the game, not have to go through a million settings to figure out what's going to work and what's not. Ah! Anyway. Wait, I think I have an idea. Hold on. You have had nope, no, that was the same from last time. Never mind. You I think you can beat me, me. Addy Addy boy. boy. I can I compare. compare. <laughs> That's pretty. Thank you very much for the 200 bits. Appreciate it, my dude. Cheers on that as well. This is where you two fight whilst we try and figure out settings and everything. Fair do. Uh, so yeah, la since last time, there have been some significant developments. You'll notice we've got these two things out here. I've got a couple of harvesters set up and ready to run. Is there an echo? Oh, that's why it was so loud for you. Is that all of a sudden a lot better, chat? Is everything volume-wise now suddenly a lot better? Has Ken derped? Excellent work, Tenno. This will help our cause. You dare call me boy? You haven't noticed anything yet? Uh, I think the game sounds the same. Okay, that's surprising, because... Uh... Yeah, I had a setting wrong where the desktop was feeding back through to the microphone, which was also then being picked up by the stream. Ah, uh, whoops. <laughs> I was trying to combine together some audio and stuff earlier and I left that setting on by mistake. I do that from time to time. Which is why it echoed the uh The voice only text. boy I see is the one trying to beat a man. Cause now that should be coming through clearly, whilst again these two are fighting each other. Cheers for the bits, guys. Cheers for the... We are not getting to night time already. Wait, what? I've been here three seconds. No, that's got to be... that was just a big cloud, wasn't it? Like, the light came on and everything, though. Like, what? I don't, I don't even understand. At least the portals are ringing again for now. So, whatever. We got that side of things. As I was saying, uh, there's been quite a bit of construction. Got a solar panel, got a single battery going, got a storage unit. Got a landing pad for my ship, so I'm no longer just parking in the grass. We're still parked right next to this uh, this thing here, of course. Good old trading post. Useful to have one right next to your base, I suppose. And I've done a little bit of work on uh, expanding bits and pieces in terms of actual basic gear. So you'll notice I've got quite a few extra slots here, if you remember from last time. I've got a few upgrades here or there to things like jetpack and shielding and life support. The uh, starship now has an upgraded drive and uh, bonuses to the warp cell efficiency, bonuses to launch thrusters. And there is an exocraft. Now, an exocraft which has itself a mining laser. So, you know, not Excellent huge, work, huge stuff, this will help our cause. but... I want to say something smart, but a boy like you wouldn't get it. For goodness sake. Adam, thank you very much for 200 bits, mate. Deal on that. Uh, Blowing Thoughts just had some after all, so I just remembered. Mayonnaise is delicious. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Mayonnaise is delicious, I suppose. Yeah, to each one. Uh... Basically, based on food. It's still so silly. Now, uh... Ignoring all the refiners and whatnot for a moment, in doing little bits and pieces here or there, getting everything up to speed. You can see I've travelled to a few other places as well, so there's a few that the portal is attempting to connect to. So I can head around places. How many places. times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I was say, well, I mean, Animali, that's an improvement. Uh, Esprit's now referring to you as a man instead of a boy. You've uh, made some improvement, apparently. <laughs> so one thing in now, chat. It's today to continue is I want to follow along this particular 
line of missions here. Uh, for those of you who don't know about the storyline with regards to Artemis and whatnot, what basically happened previously is that uh, there was some Artemis signal popping up and in the downtime between streams uh, a little bit more of that actually suddenly rocketed ahead and she's like, oh my god, I'm actually stuck somewhere, I don't know where I am, I went through a portal and then she was got by something. And now, it says, okay, well let's go instead. A different line. Something terrible happened to Artemis, their signal was cut off as they were surrounded by strange figures they described having seeds of glass within their skin. Before they went, they managed to transmit the frequency for someone named Apollo. And that's what I want to go and find. So that's where we're at, chat. That is where we're at. Let's see who this Apollo is and if they can shed some more light on what the hell is happening in this Excellent game. Excellent work, Tenno. This will help our cause. Somewhere along the way, I'll well, actually use old age is the sign of wisdom, and you can't teach an old man something new like giving up. Okay, let's just put some fuel in there, shall we? Thank you for the 200 bits, Adam Alec. Uh, let's just shove some fuel into here. I've got a whole bunch of spare oxygen. That can go in there. I don't know how just pure oxygen makes a biofuel reactor react, but hey, it's running. And for everything else, let's store some of this in here. I could react it in the reactors, but I don't trust them to operate properly when I'm not there. So I'm just going to transfer some of these bits and pieces over. I don't need to hold on to it. That was the wrong button. Uh, so I don't need to be holding on to this Mordite. Uh, this Pugnium can go away for now. Uh, let's see, raw steak, yeah, I can say in there. The rest is used in some fashion here or there, so I'll hold on. Yeah, I'll hold on to nav data as well. You never know. New storage is big. Yeah, this thing is a little bit little bit fat, in it? It's a little bit fat. It's got quite a few slots, 50 slots for me to use, so it's, it's got somewhere for me to put some bits and pieces. On top of the fact that I've also got, you know, a buggy. The buggy is a thing. Used to be nine slots? God damn, that would be terrible. We got a buggy that can drive around. This can help getting around places, that little bit quicker, I suppose. But, from what I understand, this current mission with Apollo requires us to go off world. So, off world, we will go. What's this game about? Exploration. That, that's the main ticker for it exploration in a procedurally generated universe. Also, lag. Lag is a big part of this game, apparently. So, to contact Apollo from a hollow terminus, I need to find a hollow terminus. Adam Malik, you are a nice and generous person. Dot slash Godam. <laughs> dot slash Godam, fair enough. Esprit, thank you for doing bits. Do we need to find a hollow terminus? Let's see. Change the scan. Hollow terminus is detected in this system, so that is good. I should hope so. This system does have a lot of good stuff in it. And looking at the nav icon, it is sending me over to this rock. And if I can't tell which rock that is, so we're just going to head over there. PLS, just stop this XD. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to continue. <laughs> So we're heading over to New Jian. And New Jian is actually where I started in this solar system. Because this is the very first system I started on. That's where I built a base. And uh, well, that's where we're going. That's where we're going. So let's head on down. It is a little bit of a hop across. But we'll make our way down here. And because it is a scorched planet, I'm going to have to be very careful about how I do my stuff. Be very careful about it. Let's drop ourselves into here. I'll let you guys fight it out over those individual bits. That's uh, the bot's not going to respond to that. Just avoid that wood spam us. <laughs> and it looks like this is exactly where we need to be. How convenient! We plunge straight. <laughs> drop ourselves in. The external temperature is Excellent work, 79 degrees centigrade, did that say? Ken, it's not about the bot anymore. Quit being sluffish. Esprit, you, you do what you do. You do what you do. Thank you very much for 100 bits, but you do what you do, mate. I'll... I'll leave you to it on that one. You're clearly having a moment. <laughs> you have excellent 
Esprit is right. Esprit is right, so it's not about the bot. I mean, that's fair, okay. If, if you don't need the bot to read out your messages, that's absolutely fair. Okay. Okay. So yeah, external temperature is 77.6 degrees centigrade out here. This is, uh, this is quite hot. Not the hottest planet I've been to on this save, but it is quite hot here. I'm just gonna grab whatever's inside of this, hopefully something good. It is... Did that just give me a few nanites? It just gave me a few nanites. Oh well, okay. Nothing amazing there then, I guess. No need to restore my shield, but I'll just click it anyway. Well done with this. Cryptic navigation data. Hey, there we are. Just more loot in the area. Uh, there is something here as well. I would like to have a look as to what that is. Okay, I'm just going to have to dig down. There we go. That got me some salvage data. Always nice to pick up some of that. I think that is at least the basic stuff around here to uh, to have a look at. But yeah, you can tell this is definitely a, uh, a hot planet. There is literally patches just burning, like just casual wildfires of purple flame. But go figure. It's going to become a millionaire at this rate. I mean, that'd be nice. <laughs> I wouldn't say no. Double texture is falling. It is indeed. It is indeed. All right. That's a pretty low flying. That is a pretty low flying over there. Don't know where they're going. Don't know what they're doing. But if they don't mind, I'm just going to focus on near communications here. Need to get in touch with this Apollo fella. I'm assuming a fella. Seems like this game we have some weird gravity. I have noticed some different gravities on different uh, moons and planets, yeah. I had one which was much lower gravity. I could kind of bounce around. Apollo terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. Let's tune to Apollo. Give me them. Oh, here we go. Greetings, Apollo. The transmission is silent and the stranger just stares at me. Well, oh, let's, let's greet them. Identify yourself or I end this call. Uh, do I say I'm a friend of Artemis or say a traveler? I got I got this guy's number basically from Artemis, so I should say Artemis, a friend of Artemis. No, you're not. And uh, what makes you say that? You're disputing me, so now you can verify why. Why do you use that word at all? Friend. It's just a label, a pretense to make you feel better about being alone. Oh, we've got an emo. We've got an emo. Okay. We're all alone. There's no such thing as friends. Why are you contacting me anyway? Is Artemis behind this? I haven't changed my mind. I don't care about their weird dreams. I'll meet if I'm paying to meet. Even this conversation is a waste of valuable time. I mean, I want the option number two. Okay, what's your rate? <laughs> what's your rate? If if the, you are purely mercenary, let's figure this out. I can do business terms. But sure. I'll try and appeal to their sense of justice, which they apparently don't have. Time to cheer him up. Yeah, yeah, let's try, try and cheer him up. See, Adam Ike's got it right. You know, if he wants payments, there's, there's the bits. We can use that. Uh, tell Apollo that Artemis is trouble. They attempted to use a portal and became stranded on some distant and uncharted world, disappearing from the network. Apollo's demeanor... Apollo's demeanor changes. How, how can the demeanor of this glowing pyramid head change? I'm not sure how I'd read that. <laughs> how, how do we notice anything on that one? But they appear uncomfortable. Tell me your data logs. Let me see for this yourself. Uh, sure, yeah. Payments keep your interest, I guess. Here's the data. You have excellent taste. Pain, misery, give a slap. I'm not gonna slap them. One, they're a hollow projection, I can't slap them. Two, no! No, I'm not gonna slap them. However, they seem excited about the information I've sent them. These noises, they sound just like what was that? 
<laughs> uh, they sound just like the echoes of Sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Drones that appear from nowhere. If you interfere with their precious planets, this data is distorted, inverted. There's a lot to gain if we figure out how the Sentinels appear so quickly. This, the portals, perhaps they're the key. Uh, so just life is worth more than money, or agree? I don't get how this is a relevant answer, so just life is worth more than money. This is the key to figuring out Sentinels, not money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree. <laughs> what do you say? Do you want to work together on this and be partners? You have excellent taste. Maybe he just needs you to pay him. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's that's such a get right there, isn't it, Adamalik? We accept. We shall pay him. Thank you, Adamalik, for the bits. If you're going to work with me, we need to expand your base of operations. I'll send you to you to a contact of mine. They'll supply you with what you need. Just remember to be polite. Right. Ah, uh, Apollo's contact is outside local system. Consult galaxy map. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. So, Apollo wants us to go meet with his friend because he thinks that my gear is insufficient. My base or something is insufficient. So, let's work on that, I guess. Let's work on that. Let's head on out. I need to go into space and then we can open up the galaxy map and see where we can... Find this friend of Apollo's. Go on then, Raptor. What spells you uh, torn between? Oh, I have left the atmosphere, I think. It's, that's just a bunch of rocks. Yep. Pretty sure that's not how space rocks are supposed to work. They're not that clustered, but sure, why not? Third stream of the month, and Kin is making stongs. Hey, so you guys doing it? Thank you very much, Esprit. So, let's open up our. Oops. Wrong button. Galaxy map. I press G, not M. So, our current mission Magical. seems to want Stonk to take me over here. <laughs> uh, Raptor, I'm playing a Gloomstalker Ranger, Half Elf Archer. I have the Hunter's Mark, Cure Wounds, Hold Hail of Thorns, Passive Out Traits, Looking at Absorb Elements, Alarm, Spike Growth, or Summon Beast. Pass you also as a Fire Circle Druid and a Rogue. Hmm. Those are some tough choices, absolutely, yeah. Uh, let's see, so you've got Hunter's Marks, you've got a general damage and concentration. Never should have been concentration, but it is. Uh, you've got Cure Wounds, you've got some basic healing, you've got Hail of Thorns, you've got Passive Out Trace, that's giving you a bit of support stuff. Uh, Summon Beast, considering you've got a Druid, I wouldn't see Summon Beast as really being a uh, direction you need to go. You've got a Rogue, who can also handle just general traps and whatnot, so alarm isn't that big of a thing. I would say go for a, a either spike growth if you're more of a support and stand back character, or absorb elements if you find yourself getting into the fray a bit more, because if you've just got a druid and a rogue, I'm going to assume that you are more more involved in the fight, you know, you probably take hits. So absorb elements might help you out there to deal with those hits, certainly as you level up. Plus, being a level 1 spell, it's easy to cast. Spike Growth is nice, but I think the Druid might have that side of things more covered. That'd be my suggestion. Some Beast could be a choice for that. Uh, I suppose, yeah. I was thinking personal side rather than uh, Beast side of things, especially as elements tend to be more uh, multi-target based stuff. You know, your spells, your area spells. And again, that's where being able to absorb those elements would come in handy. Anyway, let's have a look at this uh, thing image here. Mission, signal detected, locate Apollo's contact. It's just 27 light years away. Let's walk, I guess. Boom. Didn't I play D&D? &D? Yeah, I, I occasionally uh, dabbled as a game master. We would have been having a D&D stream today, or at least D&D related, but uh, Hasbro, the uh, owners of the IP of D&D, &D, Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast, are making some pretty terrible moves at the moment uh, with respect to the OGL, the license they have on their stuff to allow other people to create content around their game. And because they're being dicks about it, I don't particularly feel like supporting that right now. I, I don't particularly feel like supporting that. So, 
until we know what's actually going on with that, I'm not going to be uh, making any further public progress with that stuff. It won't be on the stream. So, let's head on into the station here. We'll instead have our No Man's Skies. Skies with plenty of men in them, but No Man's Sky. <laughs> Mr. Coast got woke? Oh, no, 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 they got broke, don't they? They saw other people making money from tabletop content and went, yeah, but that should be our money. And, uh, that, that's what it seems to be. They haven't released their new licenses yet, so they may yet turn this around. But that's basically what it's coming down to, is they're going, oh, shit, look at that. For the last ten years or so... We've let people create content with this stuff that we intentionally put out and gave them a license to say, go ahead and make stuff with this. And now that people have made that stuff, they've gone, oh, you're making a lot of money. We want to cut from that. Ignoring the fact that those successful other things also generate revenue for Wizards of the Coast from the books they sell, and they would make even more revenue if they also produced their own worthwhile content. The fact that a lot of the books they put out are frankly mediocre for the price point, mediocre in general, let alone the price point, does not help them at all. So, they can either get good or get gone, <laughs> as far as I care. As uh, many of you will probably be familiar, there is a bit of a, a saying slash poem about, uh, you know, first they came for such and such, but I said nothing, for I'm not one of them. Well, I know how that uh, story ends, so no, this is what I'm saying, sod it. Going broke because they drove people away by being inclusive. I don't know how you mean by that, Tai Tai. I actually don't know how you mean by that. I do wonder what you actually mean by that, Tai Tai. Hi there, secret keeper Mba. I visited you, but now I have a reason to speak to you. Ah, then you have arrived, this gentleman. All the puffer permits have been filed, and exciting new tools await you. Wonderful. What does that mean? <laughs> I have plans to update both base and exosuit. Where is your base sited? What sort of hazard protection meets your needs? Ah, uh, you know what? I've been dealing with a lot of hot planets. Need protection will be great. Play the friend. May your home always be a sanctuary wherever you explore in the universe. Okay, that's just... That just gave me a bunch of stuff all at once. That gave me a bunch of stuff all at once, and I'm not sure where I'm supposed to look to have a look as to what I just got there. That wasn't the best way of showing what I got. I think some of it was some of the stuff that would pop in here, but I, d I don't even know. I mean, I got a door. I think it gave me a cylindrical room, didn't it? It's, uh... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure on that one. Thank you, Sales Gekimba, but, uh... Wait, Sales Gekimba? Did your title change? My memory is a sim. My memory is genuinely a sim. Uh, Grit says, Do we think the warp drive is only approaching the speed of light or actually surpassing the speed of light? Both have massive consequences in the realm of physics. I think it's neither, Gorilla. I think it is neither, because if we go into the Starship here, uh, it's a hyperdrive. FTL propulsion drive that allows Starship to attain warp speed and jump between neighbouring systems. Jump. With other drives doing other stuff uh, beyond that. Now, my understanding of uh, hyperdrive, as much as they say light speed warp drive, it's not light speed, it's beyond light speed. I would say that that is some kind of wormhole technology. I would say it's wormhole. That's worse? Eh. I mean, if you want to get into physics, I did some diving into real-world physics in a late-night binge of uh, scholarly articles the other day, and uh, I swear I understand even less than I did before. <laughs> I was looking into stuff around uh, black holes, the uh, physics around them, and understanding how gravity interacts with uh, magnetic fields and vice versa. Yeah. FTL stands for fast light. Yes, it does. FTL does stand for fast light, but only as far as you go from A to B 
in a time period shorter than how light would have got there. How you go about that doesn't mean you go A to B through normal space. It can mean anything. It can mean anything. Do I think white holes can exist? I don't know. I'm simply not qualified to even begin to answer that question. I would be more qualified to answer do I think alien life exists than white holes because I don't even know how to describe the conditions that a white hole would exist within to even begin to then describe do they exist in our universe. I, ho I hope that makes sense. Like. I'm trying to think of the kind of comparison you could make. I, I genuinely cannot think of a, a simple comparison for why that's such an impossible question for me, Esprit. It's it's really just completely into science fiction. Anyway, it's given me a bunch of stuff. Um, what was the objective? It was... Oh. Oh, yeah. It just wants me to go to my base. I could just go back into the space station and use a teleporter. My bad. Forgot about that. <laughs> I thought it would want to send me somewhere, not say, oh yeah, just use the portal that shortcuts all distances in the universe. It's like... That didn't exist when No Man's Sky got released, and as much as it has its use, teleportation in the form of a multi-point portal like that really shrinks the world. Uh, Gruta's saying, creating a wormhole that is the size of a person that lasts for more than a second will require massive amounts of negative mass, let alone a starship. Based on what, Gorilla? Based on your understanding of wormholes that you've seen created so far? Based on your understanding of the wormholes that we use day to day? Those, those wormholes that use negative mass? The thing about uh, describing sci-fi and picturing what its placement in reality is... It's all too easy to get wrapped up in what is known, that the unknown becomes impossible simply because it's not known. You saw theoretical physics? Fair enough. Fair enough. So the only way, the only way a wormhole can possibly exist then, according to you, Gorilla, is through negative mass. There is no such other way ever that a wormhole could exist. Interesting. Interesting. So, Gorilla, uh, in which case then, it sounds like you're actually the kind of person I want to speak to. If you're so set on this stuff, you're the kind of person I want to speak to on this. Uh, no anomaly that hates existing, okay. That sounds like life too, but there we are. With regards to the interaction of magnetic fields with gravity. I understand that uh, magnetic fields, because they are in essence a form of energy, magnetism leads to energy, or it's just related to energy. Energy is related to matter because E is empty squared, that basic stuff, I say. Basic enough to say. So we have uh, magnetic fields, they have energy, therefore they have effectively an energy density or energy coefficient, whatever you want to call it, that means that they will affect space-time and create additional gravity beyond just the mass of the object that is causing the uh, magnetic field. Am I right so far, Gorilla? Bear in mind that I'm saying this from an A-level understanding of physics. I've never done a degree. My degree was in rocks. <laughs> he said yes. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm on point so far. I'm on point so far. So, from what I've read recently, I'm, go I'm gonna take a step away from fictional world for a moment because real world science is really interesting to me, guys. From what I understand uh, and have read is that, oh, I need to find the paper to get the exact wording, but basically paper uh, from 2001 claimed that from their simulations, from their experiments and whatever else they were doing, uh, they put out there the idea that the magnetic fields weren't just uh, bending space-time, creating gravitational effects themselves, but on top of that, 
a simulating the earlier stage of the universe through the largest or fastest part of its expansion, the amount of warping of space-time was also compressing magnetic fields in various ways. Let's say if you had magnetic field here, magnetic field here, space-time bring them together and smush them against each other, those magnetic fields impressing against each other would not only try to push back but effectively were smoothing out space-time and as a result it means that we have to take into account magnetism when considering the expansion of the universe not just gravitational uh, effects uh, and how that interacts with things like black holes and our understanding of them is that you've got this whole extra set of fields going on whether it's a rotating or non-rotating uh, black hole, the fact that there's magnetic fields that can be involved alongside gravity means that it gets to the point where actually light, uh, yeah, light particles, are just, I say light particles, light photons wouldn't have to follow GOD6 in space-time because of the effect of magnetism on it. And that's as far as I've gotten so far, because I say there's this 3 a.m. binge. But well, how the hell can a magnetic field cause light to not follow the GOD6 if the GOD6 are just the inertial lines that things have to travel through space-time? Which itself I don't understand, because how can anything be constantly accelerating away? I'll have to find it for you, Gorilla. I'll have to find it for you. Because if you've studied theoretical physics, you're exactly the person I want to speak to. <laughs> because I've yet to find someone who can help me get past some of the hurdles of my lack of education and this kind of stuff. Anyway, enough of that now. Most of everyone is here for No Man's Sky, not for me to blunder my way through physics. As interesting as it is. Because this game wants me to build... place a construction terminal on your base. Do I not have a construction terminal? Apparently not, no, okay, hey, construction terminal, that's new. Uh, yeah, let's just pop this inside the shed. Let's pop this inside the shed. Right there should be good. There we go. Hire a base overseer. What the heck am I going to find with them? I staff from space stations. Well, I happen to know where a space station is. Actually, I know where a few of them are. Why take a spaceship in a space game when you can just use a portal? You can just use a portal. Alright then. Uh, current system. Let's go to one just right above me. I know, Gorilla. I know. Unfortunately, I have this tendency to try grappling with topics which uh, are not only above my pay grade, but also really challenge the people I ask. Even when I was at university, I should have been looking into geological papers, but then this other one on the next page over caught my eye and it led to another one, it led to another one. Next thing I know, I'm emailing a professor all the way over in the United States uh, asking about his research because I found a very interesting paper that he put out where they managed to make it where light, not a light pulse not only exceeded the speed of light through a crystal, it then also went backwards through the crystal after the light had gone through the crystal. <laughs> and so I reached out to him, I was trying to understand better as to what on earth was going on with that thing. And unfortunately he couldn't answer my questions because they were still in the process of researching it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Gorilla, exactly. <laughs> The best that I can understand, and this is really laymanning this paper, I was struggling to get through it. But the best that I could understand is that the light pulse itself, because of the way it was traveling through the medium, and it travels through any medium, uh, the actual wave in some way dissipates through traveling. Like uh, when it crosses across these boundaries of media, it dissipates in both directions, and it's only the front of that wave which is fully travelling at the speed of light, and so that then means that by going through these specially created crystals, the rest of the pulse kind of catches up. So technically, that bit of the pulse has exceeded the speed of light 
there, but in total, from A to B, it hasn't exceeded the speed of light. But it also means that the way it interacts with the crystal is that causality requires it to come in the other direction. And that's as far as I can get. Which is why I was contacting him and he couldn't explain it to me. <laughs> and I wish I could find you that one, but I absolutely have no chance because I don't even access, have access to my uni email anymore. That's gone. What I'm saying is my curiosities are forced to be reckoned with, and now you know why I am where I am with uh, Warframe. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> I approach the Lost Traveller, their skin is translucent, as if they were not truly there. I don't think this person I need to speak to, but they look funky. What business would you have with me? Black magic, burn the witch. Oh, we're well beyond burning, Esprit. We are well beyond burning. Oh. Cheers. Uh, the life form tries to shake my hand, but pauses it as we phase through one another. They are fascinated by the encounter, claiming to be a trap. How do we phase? What? It's clear they've come from a de very different region of space. They've never heard of the Gek, Vikin, Corvax, or any of the sites I've encountered. They wish to know more in the spirit of cooperation. Bargain for information. I want to know stuff too. Travel looks disappointed. They do nothing more than turn away, but they seem deeply hurt. Hey, if you're not going to give me information about your world, Excellent work, Tenno. why should I this be sharing with you? Science FTW, even if I don't understand many things. So he's come from a different universe. Doesn't know anything that's around here. And when he speaks to me, it's like, oh, but you want to know stuff from me too. Oh, I don't want to do that then. Well, fuck you. Little shit. And my Esprit, thank you very much for the risk, guys. Attendant Derpy. Hello, Attendant Derpy. Uh, as you can see, guys, since last time I have picked up a few more words, but the vet mostly still elude me. So I'm just going to get a word real quick. Teach me a friendship word. I've learned the word for repair. Okay. You know, the more I look around here, chat, the more it looks like the kind of person I need is... You stand out from everyone. You. Hello. Maybe you are who I need to find. Uh, 16 pops up. 16. That was that was important. I remember 16 being a big thing over the storyline, so maybe. Corvax appears stuck in a loop repeating the same thing over and over. They didn't repeat the same thing over and over, though. They had different words. Because I only understood one of them. Give me another word, then. Uh, give me, again, a friendship symbol. They've given me the word for help. Given that this person was also stuck in a loop, and now they've taught me the word help. Do, do, do you need help? Okay, don't do that. That is, that is weird. Please don't do that. <laughs> Maybe check my mission log? Yeah, I'm probably going to have to, aren't I? Uh, mission log, mission log. Expand. So if you know, home. Didn't give me a marker when I clicked onto it. Construct terminals for special searches. Find recruits aboard space stations. I'm gonna have to walk. He needs a slap, not help. Esprit, what is it for you wanting to slap everyone today? Jesus. Thank you for the bits, but mate, calm down. All right. Oh, Mr. Mustachio, what you got for me? Alert something. Something will something. Something will be something. Interloper. Something something. I thought I'd learn more guy uh, words than this for this guy. Ah. Uh, um. Hey, can you give me a word? I would really like to learn a word. I have no idea what the hell you just said. Give me a mystery. I have learned the word for but. Okay. And... Pirate Overseer... You have excellent taste. Oh, it just told me I, I need to build new a license. Room. Something of a violent tendency from. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at the galaxy map in this moment. Uh, apparently, I now need to build a cylindrical room. I think there's some bits which just won't happen until I build some of these basic structures, even though I already have a structure. But sure, let's just go turn these in. Or rather, build this up. 
and see what happens from there. And I'm like, thank you very much for the 100 bits, mate. I don't even want to look at how much you guys have done recently. Like, that's been a lot. And I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth as a word there, but just all the same. Thank you very much. Uh, so you know what? Let's just put a broom right here. Just... Just there. Because I don't want it. But the game's telling me to make it, so... That costs 250 pure ferrite. Good God. What, why? Why would, why would we need this? Mmm. Chicken noodle. Cheers. Some nautical reference? Ferrite is easy resource. Yeah, I've got plenty of ferrite, but it's a fact there's a pure ferrite, which means I'd have to then go and refine the ferrite I've got into more pure ferrite. It's like, for God's sake. Leave me alone. Uh, right then, so we got that constructed. It says expanding your base, access the mission log. It's like expanding the base. Oh, so I have to do that to advance the quest. Okay. Hire a base overseer. And if I... Yeah, that just tells me go find... Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Let's just go to another one. Search multiple room in your browser. Oh, hang on. Multi-purpose room in brow. How would one search in? Well, th these are the things that I have. All right, it's not a lot. I have various colors of lights, but yeah. Oh right, you mean about subnautica weapon? Right, whatever. I, I get you now. I get you. I get you. Uh, let's go to this. Mm, actually, wait. That's where I met the. Uh, the dude. Let's go to Jar Cover. Jar Cover. Let's go there. Excellent taste. That should keep me safe for a short while. Adam, Mike, thank you very much for the 600 bits, dude. Oh. Cheers. Maybe go see anomaly for blueprints. I'm trying to follow just what it's trying to get me to do first, because I could explore infinitely into building things, but right now I want to, you know, follow the stories. Alright, this is a lot quieter station than the other one. A lot quieter. But, it might also be what we need. Now, I visited you. I visited you. Is there someone here I haven't visited? Because that might be who I need to speak to. Ah, you're new. Hello. Do you not tire, Traveller? Nature's yoke drags you down. I shall help you master it. I can understand this guy for some reason. Farmer offers to join my world, make use of my agricultural terminal. I don't have one of those yet. Right. But, that is what I needed. Just the wrong type. So, you are you have someone I visited. Something tells me it's going to be a different race, isn't it? I'm going to need to go find a Corvax or Vakeen. Ah, speaking of which, that's, there's a uh, Vakeen. Are you someone I can... Okay, never mind. But I can practice my language skills. Actually, I don't remember what he said, so never mind, I will. I can't back out. Ah, uh, They always like the word battle. Shit. Shit. I should have read what he said. Shit. <laughs> Just accidentally... What, what did he say? I'm going to go to a different space station. Now I have lost standing here. Yay! Well, that was stupid. Uh, let's go to Gladush. You can cook and use food to exchange for nanite. Huh, well, that's a thing. I'm going to a space, space, uh, space station bar fight? Yeah, I'll pass on that. That's a good idea. Pass on that. Let's head on over to a different uh, space station, see if there's someone there. 
All right, bunch of people here. I'm noticing a lot more Corvax around, so maybe this is what I need. Wait for that to get away. Have I spoken to you before? I have. Sorry, mate. Don't need to do that again. You have spoken to. You have spoken to. I want someone I've not spoken to. Who's who's new here? Who has appeared? Ah, geologist entity. Otiamil. Has the traveler reconsidered? Do they want their walls, their panels, their glass to be surveyed by the Corvax? They need a science terminal. Uh, wait, si I don't have a science terminal. Operations entity, I mean, I can speak to them, maybe? Nope, I can't understand this guy, so this isn't it. Uh, the convergence of a blah, 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 blah. I'm going to leave. I have no idea what you're saying. How about you? Nope, I've spoken to you as well. I need someone new. Maybe this guy. Maybe this guy. No, okay, this is not going well, chat. I do need many a terminal, but right now I need the one guy on the one terminal to allow me to do the other stuff. Um... Elumbit? Elumbit? Cough, cough, guy, map, cough. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry, Dice. Alright, we'll go through this portal, check the people there, then I'll go through the map. The space job market is in shambles. Actually, it seems pretty good at the moment because it seems that everyone's employed, so they don't need me to employ them. Everyone's doing fine. Alright. Quick check. Anyone here that's new? Get rid of that thing. Visited. 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 No option to speak. Okay, you know what? Just I'm just going to ignore that one. Visited. 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 Really? Really? Ah, oh, it's a traveller. Do, do, do I need a traveller? Hello there. Funky hologram person. Uh, Wolfing Kestron, do you think I should change Ips? Impact stuns target, punch through, give punch through your thoughts. I think they should change Ips. I don't think... Uh, I don't, I don't think just a simple change like, oh, just puncture gives punch through is going to make it work, though. Impact is in an okay spot. It has a place, certainly for newer players. Uh, with regards to its procs for, what's it called, Parasol Mercy kills. Puncture proc has basically no place in the game, neither does Blast proc. But overall, elemental and uh, physical damage types do need to be looking at in Warframe. Uh, approach Lost Traveller. Their skin is translucent as if they were not truly there. Another one who's not really present. This is a different one, Cosmo. Another Traveller. We should speak. Have faith. Not all dreams are idle fancies. Uh, not all fictions are untruths. Perhaps all this is based in something real. Perhaps we did once exist long ago. What? Proof. Here, look at this. They remove an object from their exosuit. Abstract crimson flesh like perfect. Let's look at it. I look at the object and I'm filled with a sense of hope. Everything will be all right. I know it. Nothing can hurt me. All I have to do is believe and have faith. Not in a deity. Not in some universal tyrant. No. Is this right in front of me? Okay, we're going outside. We're accessing the map and we're finding someone who does not speak in cold. Let's go deal with non and stuff. Uh, Daitai, please make sure you don't stray into uh, spoiling and backseating. Alright, map. Okay. Current mission. Yeah, it's got path selected to current mission. Nothing is highlighted. Oh, what? Hang on. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Hang on. Potential Overseer Recruit. There we go. Select target system out of jump range. How do I get here? That's where I want to get to. So, I am up here. Am I not? 
Am I? Or am I? Magical. I don't remember. Adam Malik is gone. Time to reclaim my birthright. Quinn smiles upon me this day. <laughs> Esprit, thank you very much for the 600 bits, my dude. Appreciate it. Alright, yeah, so this is where I am at the moment, and I need to get down there. And it looks like I have to follow this route. Is this the best route I've got? Come on, come on select, select the thing. Yeah, it's a 208 light year jump. That's quite a jump, so it looks like I'm going to have to take that route down. Yep, okay. Let's get warping. Let's take a few jumps ahead. Let's go a few jumps down the line and see what the map has to show us. Jenny Milestone achieved! What did I achieve? Walked ten times. Like I said, a bit of, did a bit of off uh, off camera mining. <laughs> oh, incoming message. Ooh, hello. Uh that button. Hello. Here blib blib blah blah to friend. Blib blah 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 for trade. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Help. I can understand the word help. The blah 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 blah. This life form is in great distress. The broadcast contains a set of coordinates. I guess we'll be distracted. What's going on then? Uh, signal is coming from in another system. How? What? I just jumped into this one. Why is it then inter interrupted me with a signal from another system? Uh, sod it. Okay, we'll just jump out of here then. Clearly we got things to do. It wants me to go here. Emergency broadcast. Well, it's an emergency broadcast. So someone's in need of help. Let's go find out what I can do to help out. The stress signals are a thing you do not ignore. That's just a fact. Not a gaming fact, a real world fact. If someone is in distress, you help them out. Because you'd want the same if it was you in distress. Okay. Arrived on location of Conk G11. It's a Hyperborean planet. I have no idea what that means yet. And the emergency broadcast is coming from over there. Engage pulse. Let's head over. Let's come in at an angle. I should be able to get there as quickly as possible. To whoever it is. They need help. Ah, let's do it fast. Alright, we are coming in a bit hot. Ooh, this is quite the settlement. Pop ourselves just over here. I don't know if there's a landing pad. We may not have time to look for one. Outside temperature is minus 100. Good god, that is cold. Outpost status vulnerable. It's cold out there. Can I stop having this long ass overlay now, please? Thank you. Uh, you've located a struggling planetary settlement, fighting against harsh conditions and constant sensor harassment. Music suddenly kicks in. Uh, become overseer and help grow the settlement? No! I'm trying to find an overseer! No! I'm literally trying to hire an overseer. Literally. What? And I suppose I wouldn't now, but yeah. Uh, assist local population construction of planetary settlement, form key actions, assessment interface. Overseers of assessments will make decisions, direct construction of buildings, resolve disputes. Oh my god, this is a whole extra bundle of stuff. Yeah, this isn't an SOS. This is straight up asking me to run their town, and they built it on a minus 100 degree planet. No! 
I'm sorry. Investigate the stress signal at the planetary settlement, assist the settlers with their problems, and they may allow you to join their settlement. You want me to run it? This is Mumbai for Mayor. That's what this is. Right. I will investigate the source of this signal, and I will tell them to stop being an absolute goddamn moron. You do not put out a, uh, a broadcast for immediate assistance when all you need is someone to tell you what to do. What, what is this staircase? There's your first thing. What is this staircase? How do I get into your stupid little hut? Is it through here? Right. <sighs> Settler Upahagil. Friend! You! Blah 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 blah! Blurt to help, yes? Blah 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 blah! What are they doing here? Building a life exposed to harsh planetary existence battered by the elements? Yeah, that is a very good question. It's my question, really. It is my question. There are other planets out there you can settle on. Why are you settled on this snowball? Before I can speak, I hear the wail of a siren. A hostile buzz descends upon the town. When did this become an RPG? Sorry, I signed up for an exploration game. Why am I suddenly uh, rescuing another settlement? What? I don't think it's a good idea to be mayor for people you understand like three words from. Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Very close to absolute zero. We're not very close to absolute zero. No, no, no. But still, ridiculous. What is this? The Sentinels have arrived. Oh, for crying out loud. No, I refuse. This, this is a call to adventure that I am turning down. This guy must be Preston Garvey. Another settlement needs your aid. Nope. These guys are pissed off the Sentinels living on a shitty backwater planet. They are being absolute morons. I have decided I am out. They can grab their own ships and they can go back the way they came and land somewhere not stupid. I'm out. They brought this on themselves. It's only a frame playing Frostpunk? Oh god. Not what I signed up for. Not what I signed up for. I'm going. And through normal video game rules, they will still be there if I decide to come back anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm continuing with my mission. They are not in general distress. They just want someone to run their lives for them. Out we go. That definitely wasn't in the game the last time I played. I refuse that particular call to adventure. One quest at a time, thank you. Excellent work, Tenno. This will help our cause. I think they wanted you to explore how to play an RPG. Hmm. You know what? I think I've got enough of those in my life. I think I've got enough of those. If you wanted to see me play a uh, multiplayer RPG game, you'd have voted for it. That's not what people voted for today. Nuclear planet. Oh, that sounds terrible. Scalding planet. Also terrible. You know what? Let's continue traveling. This... this... This system looks nasty, and I've got places to be. Destination... Current mission... No, okay. why, why is current mission no longer selectable? God oh, damn it. I'm just trying to get down to here. Out of jump range. What's, what's my step towards it? Where even am I? I am... Here. Yeah, I want to jump down to this one, don't I? Select it. Nope, 325. That's too far. Wait, but... Aren't I... Where am I? What is my current system? Is that where I currently am? I genuinely cannot tell anymore. I think... I want to be going down here. Yeah, yeah. All the planets are terrible? No, no, all the planets are terrible. I, for example, have settled on a paradise planet. Which was definitely not a lie.
Alright, we're in the ADUS system. ADUS system. That's... That's very blue. Let me shoot. There we go. I got some tritium. Uh, Kikoki. Right. Uh, that is a, a redacted planet. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. What? A redacted planet? Oh, we've got to go have a look as to what that is. How on... We are definitely checking that out. We are exploring. I said we're here to explore. This is the exploration right here. It's got aggressive sentinels, so that could be a problem. It's got cadmium. But mostly it's redacted, and that's the important bit. The entire planet is censored. Not the entire planet, just the, uh, the type of planet. Tevian Beta. Oh, Excellent work, Tenno. This will help our cause. Redacted planet? So it must be this message has been redacted and cold. <laughs> maybe, yes, maybe. maybe. <gasps> I saw that. I saw that. Something crashed. Things are crashing. I want to go see the things that are crashing. There, there. This time I'm in my ship and I can go and explore. Because last stream I couldn't find out what was crashing. This time I've watched it happen. I saw something crash right here. Right. Right here. Where is it? I saw it crash. What was that? Here, here. Extreme Sentinel Start it with the Extreme Sentinels. Extreme Excellent work, Tenno. This will help our cause. Something's what, what wrong. I, I can feel it. What does that thing say? What is it? Gravitino ball. Is that what just appeared? Wait. No, I just... That's not... That's... No, there's multiple of these. What just crashed here, then? What just crashed here? I don't see it. I saw something crash, but that's not it. Because there's many of those. There should be one crashed thing. Where's my crash thing? What is that? Oh, it's behind the way. That's why I can't see it. The other way? Daitai, that's terrible. Daitai, you know what? I'm putting you on warning. Stop trying to tell me how to play. I, I made a reference to it earlier. I'm going to tell you now. Please don't. The only person who enjoys doing that is you. Everyone else does not enjoy you doing that. So please stop. Is there something smoking or something else? That thing... Oh, no, that's that's just a nasty plant. They, they're everywhere. They spit at you in the hole. There's a creature. Scan it, scan it, scan it. Just about got it in time. I don't see it because it's redacted. Hmm. I'm going to keep scanning things around here because I'm getting credits for it at the moment. Can hopefully make sense of what the hell is going on here. All this stuff is just basic. It's carbon. This, this, this isn't popping up. Oh, there it is. It's carbon and oxygen. Yeah, that's, that's just basic. It's all basic. Oh, look how tiny it is! Oh, look at the tiny, tiny thing! There is no way that weighs 30 kilograms. No, no, no. Look at it! Look at how tiny it is! Give it food? I don't have any food. I have nothing to give it. And now let's change my quest. Ah! Fucking automatic quest stuff. Don't tell me about... I don't want to create pellets right now, but... Nope, oh, one sec. Tycoon earned one and a half million four th sorry, one million five hundred four thousand two hundred and thirty-nine credits exactly. Okay. Um what do you got for me? Ferrite dust dihydrogen. Nope. 
pretty normal stuff. This is a real thing, who knows? I mean, I can feel the planet's gravity right here, Gorilla. Drop. Yeah, that's that's a pretty standard gravity. So that thing that tiny, 30 kilograms, that should be crunching the soil. Then I land facing what I chase. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And I am in that direction. I'm right here. It should be right on this spot. It landed right around here and there is nothing. Nothing stand out whatsoever. That's that's just a plant. With carbon and more carbon in it. And this is just a basic rock. Isn't 30 kilograms only about 15 pounds? No, other way around, Gorilla. 30 kilograms is 66 pounds. You did the conversion backwards, mate. Cheers, Car Cop. Yeah, that tiny little thing rambling along, along size of a, a small loaf of bread, was apparently 66 pounds in weight. <laughs> the Americans out there. I don't get it. I don't get any of this. In a slightly dead looking way, this is kind of pretty. Oh, speaking of. Wow, that is a fast sunrise. Jesus, how quick are we turning? That is a very fast sunrise. Oh, hello. Hello. It said the sentinels were aggressive and I just detected one. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my god, how are there so many of them? Where did these all come from? You little fecker, stop healing him. Another heal, right? Ugh. And then we're gonna take out you. Oh, I'm taking a lot of hits here. Exosuit! That is a priority. Where's my shield? Sentinel? What the fuck? More like Sentinel. Wait, why, uh, why did it have me on the fucking ship first? It had me on the sh on the ship tab, not the shield tab, and then I go to put in the shield. It's like, oh, now you need to fix it. I just try to put in the fucking material quickly. God damn it. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. I was just trying to put it in and you started me on the starship tab when I was in my suit. Now i got to go fix all this. I don't care about the sentinel drones. I care about the fact that all my stuff... Did I just lose all my materials? Did I just lose everything I was holding? You do not get to tell me I just lost everything I was holding. You drop a tombstone. I drop a tombstone surrounded by sentinels. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, I kind of got the extreme sentinel bit. No, no. Where's my, where's my weapon? Where is my weapon? Technology is critically damaged. And how am I supposed to deal with that, A game? How am I supposed to deal with it when you've taken everything away from me? Where's the guide on that one? Tombstone, tombstone, tombstone. Apparently there's a tombstone. Where? I died right here. 
There it is. There it is. Ow. Why would it destroy, of all things, my goddamn gun? Stupid game. Not trying to make this playable at all, is it? Don't have the re required materials. Well, great. How many sentinels are there? Hostile scan detected. Yep, we got ships arriving. Pulse drive disabled. Oh, this is getting even better, isn't it? Right. Come at me, then. Where are you? You're out of range. How am I disabled from doing anything when I'm out of range of everything? There we go. Okay, how much is broken and how much do I need to spend to fix it? That, I can fix straight away. Good. That. Pop that in. Upgrade module part. Damn it, what? I need a wiring loom. Where am I, oh, I going to get a wiring loom from? Thermal protection module. When did I get that? I don't know. Is there something I could break down into a wiring loom? I don't want to break that down, though. <sighs> God's sake. Yeah, I know it could be one on a space station, but there's no space station here. It's just two rocks and a load of problems. At least the Sentinels have decided to go. And there's also the fact that it broke my gun, and I don't have the material have to fix my gun. Taste. What an absolute mess. I mean, I can... I can get to that bit. I need chromatic metal, and I do not have the things to make chromatic metal right now, because for that, I think I need copper. Yeah, I'm going to need to get some copper. I don't even think... I've got copper on me. I do have copper, I do have a portable refiner, I do have carbon. I can make that. Okay, let's... Let's pop somewhere. Alright, you take care of the bike. Thank you very, very much for the bits, especially another 695 of them. Dude, appreciate it. Right, what's that other planet? It's... Oh my god, now another milestone. Why do we need to spend so long on these milestones? Destroy 10 sentinels. Okay, and where's the milestone for dying to one? Genuinely, when a game just shits on you like that, it doesn't feel like you're lost. It feels like the game decided to go, yeah, nah. Oh yeah, your shields are down, so you're going to try and recharge them. So, let's put us into your starship. I, mean, I am not in my starship, I am trying to fix my face. Alright, didn't even scan this planet. Let's just have a look what it is. I'm just going to straight drop. Entering the atmosphere of Yohildon Omega. Alright. What have we got over here? What's this place? Oh wow, everything just spawned in. <laughs> uh... Procedural generation, why? Does anything of particular interest aside from more weird looking plants pop out? I'm looking for her curiosity. That's what I'm looking for. Not just hills and shrubbery. Show me something weird. looks a bit weird. Or is that just a badly rendered cloud? That is in fact a badly rendered cloud. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's just go park over here.
Let's just park wherever here is. Fever clouds, absent sentinels, rich flora and fauna. Okay. Absent sentinels is music to my ears right now. What the hell is that? Oh, just another spitty thing. They're everywhere. Okay. Portable refiner. go. Let's put in some copper. Let's put in some fuel. Uh, can't remember how much of this I need. Let's have a quick look. That's separate. I need... Oh, only 11. Oops. That'll do. There we go, I have a gun again. Now what's this other thing that's broken? That is... A support module for my uh, life support. Make the carbon nanotubes. Let's fix you. Oh. Wait. Oh no, it says repaired. I just... Whatever. So I just need the wiring loom. Okay. Let's... Get a wiring loom at some point then. Okay. Let's see what we have found here. I never found what that crash thing was, by the way. What's that? What is that? There's no sentinels on this planet, so, uh, yep, sentinels absent. Hazmat gauntlet required. I do not have one of those. Never mind, then. Curiosity ruined. Uh... <laughs> Pick up a lot of just random stuff around. I'm kind of curious as to what I'm hoping to find here. Um, available resources, cadmium. Cadmium is a new resource to me. So I just need to know where the hell it is. There the hell it is. We're around the weird thing. Oh, hello. Are you friendly? I don't know because I scanned the plant. <laughs> Are you friendly? Seems so. Seems so. That thing, however, does not look friendly, because those are giant claws. Usually things don't have giant claws if they're friendly. That is a, a general rule of thumb that I can suggest. That was a bad jump. Let me try it again. that stuff. Can I scan it? I can't scan it. I can scan the rock. Why is my screen shaking? Weird. Oh, thanks. Ground textures just casually de-render. As you do. <laughs> There's a lot of very weird stuff here. I'm still frustrated with that sentinel fight though, that was just dumb. I was like, hey, there's one, suddenly there's ten, they're repairing each other, and also you just tried to restore your shields, but tough, you can't, you're dead. Like, what? <laughs> Hell. 
go. Got ourselves some of this cadmium. Very lovely. I think I scooped up most of it in there. Ah, there's a little bit more. You there we go. Excellent taste. Here, have a cheer up, and also I have reclaimed <laughs> first. Esprit, thank you very much for the 800 bits. You have indeed reclaimed first, I believe. Let me, uh... Yep, there you are. Oh my word. I haven't even looked at the leaderboard so far. Thank you very much, Esprit. Appreciate it. Alright. So that has superpowered my jetpack, which I can use to hover across here for a bit. Oh, that's run out. But it did get me quite a way across there, so that's useful. That is useful. Go running up this hill. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know how much caffeine I want. I can genuinely come back to this very, very very feeling planet, honestly. The lack of saturation here is kind of weird. Also, what is that? That's different. That That is a flying jellyfish stingray, for lack of better understanding. With the note rapid self healing and craw milk. I... Okay. Yeah, let's continue with our original objective, I think. I appear to have chosen exactly the right time to depart. Yep. <laughs> that was exceedingly well timed. Okay, let's get out of here. Where to next? We're heading down this way. It looks like it's just two more jumps to go. So, what is this system? Mouse to the thing that's important to me, game, you idiot. Oh, yeah, I, I hope I'm still heading in the right direction. I didn't actually pay full attention to the map, but it looked like this is the way I want to be going. If I could just set a route, that would be great, but apparently that button is hidden from me, if it exists. Alright, stations, so we're probably back to normal space, that's good. Okay. Sometimes, did I say? Sometimes? That was... I don't think I've had a good... Easy time of selecting consistent points so far this session. Says something. Here we go. Let's drop ourselves off here. There's just whilst we're visiting. You never know, I might find someone here who can actually help me out. Uh let's let's start meeting some peeps. I approach the lost traveller, their skin is translucent, if this were not truly there. Getting that impression now, these travellers don't exist. Looking for a missing Gek, perhaps you'd recognise this face. The traveller shows me an image of a Gek, and they watch me keenly explain that they were hired to find this individual by the Trade Federation. Well, yeah, they're looking for a Gek. Uh, say yes, but what? I don't know if... what? By saying yes, do I say yes truthfully? That's more info. I cannot comment. They seem disappointed. I know nothing. Wish me luck with my journey. What? How does asking for more information say that I'm... Oh, whatever. These travellers are fucking idiots. Entity provide... Something. Uh, let's see. Is there a provision option? I want to respond to this. Let me see if I can respond to this. Entity provide research. Apparently assuming I am fluent in Corvax, they begin to chatter at great length, gesturing towards my suit and multi-tool. Well, I made him happy. 
There we go. Some standing improvement with the Corvax. That's good. I chose the right word, it seems. I don't, I don't, I don't there. That was convenient. Not what I'm looking for, but uh, it worked. Uh, the keen high command, something warrior, help pathetic, impler, interloper, coward. You're... something. Right. The keen high command, commands warrior, help pathetic, interloper, coward. Me, apparently. You're... something? That's so open to interpretation, I'm just going to ask Dialect help. Uh, aggression symbol. Weak-minded. Okay. Hello, Zom. How you doing? Oh god, I, I bet I've got like three words out of this one. Just give me the dialect. Just give me the dialect on this one. One friendship symbol, please. Yep, nope. Vodhum Lem, Vodhum 2, Vodhum Lidovo. Yase are a lawyer, you use are Nisi, use are a tell. Yeah, I. Nope. Nope. No idea what this guy's saying. Give me a word, please. Talk me the word where. And we're just going to go through this process a few times because these callbacks I have basically no words for, so give a word, please. Words, 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 words. That first one I got very lucky with. Oh, here we go. Ahem. Corvax entity help. I can understand the entire sentence. Wow. Let's practice our language skills on this one. Uh... There's this entity. Uh, Rima appears to be preparing to take notes. Right, brain for most impressive Corvax vocabulary. Uh, you know what? They ask if they can help. If I stay nanite, maybe I can convince them to give me some? Indicating they're not a trader. With no other way to assist, they transfer me to some of the units. Ah, uh, close enough. Close enough. I got, I got some units. I'll take it. <laughs> Ahem. Something, something, something traveler. I don't understand that one. I'll, I'll just ask for help on that one. <laughs> Teach me a word of Corvax. Convergence. Thank you. I, I, I wanted nanites. Credits are less valuable. Uh, the only bit I'm getting here is me and upgrade. That's not enough to work on. So, you please teach me a word of trade. Reward. That's a nice word to remember. Uh, nope. Nope. I've still got absolutely nothing on that. So I'll just take more uh, wordage, please. Uh, friendship. Required. Bit by bit, we shall learn this language. This is not how language learning works, but we'll take it. And I've spoken to them. Uh, whilst we're here, let's... Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> Learned words, thank you, yes. All right, uh, wiring loom, wiring loom, wiring loom. There we go. Ah, I, oh, actually, I, I saw 84,000. For some reason, I thought I had 100,000. I've got 1.7 million. All right, one wiring loom. Thank you. Finally, I can fix this. There we go. Okay. I have finally fixed up everything after that harrowing ordeal. And I think I've spoken to pretty much everyone here, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, there is a little bit left to do over this way, which is if we pop on over to here. Should be able to get myself a new slot. Shouldn't be too expensive. Let's see how much it is. Eighty thousand units. That is absolutely affordable. Pop it there. It looks nicer. And uh, let's see. I'm full up on slots here and here at the moment, so I can't do anything about that. But I can see about getting something else for my ship. 
what I could do is get more hyperdrive range if there is one offering that. Brutal. You. That was loud. You. Do you have a high tier upgrade for my Starship engine? Uh, not pulse engine. Hyperdrive. Hyperdrive. Ah, they've only got pulse engine upgrades. I was I was looking for a uh, nice high tier hyperdrive. The best they've got is B tier. I'll pass on that then. I'll pass on that. Let's pop out of here. Let's head down to that. Should be the last jump where I'm going now. Should be the last jump, right? Why is it sending me? No, not black hole. Like, no, 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 no. I want to be going there. There we go. Yeah, that's where I'm going. At least I'm. Uh, hyperdrive has no fuel. Shit. Shit. Chat. I messed up. Where's my fuel gone? Ah. Okay. 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 All right. We just just need to make some fuel. Whilst I'm in space, that's fine. Uh, I need the antimatter housing. Warp cell. There we go. No, no, no threat at all. We're fine. I actually had everything on hand for me. Don't know why I was fretting. There we go. Nailed it. No problem whatsoever, chat. That is an impressive ring to come in on. Here we go, and apparently my marker is all the way over here. Interesting. Oh my goodness gracious, now what? Yes, I know I've walked. I swear this game spends far too long celebrating basic movement. Wait, basic at base face the third arrive in a few hours. How would... Potential Overseer Recruit. This is my original star system. Huh? All players share one system, I might know. No, we don't. And what? I would. I started at my base. My base said to go meet someone. I went to the space station of the system I was in to try and find someone to get. And it kept on saying, you need to go somewhere else, you need to go somewhere else, nope, nope, nope. And then we looked at the map, and it said, oh yeah, here is the star system a few hundred light years away. Go to that one. And now that I get here, it's claiming this is where I started. That doesn't sound right. So then what am I travelling towards? Ormesk. Yeah, Ormesk is my planet. It's a paradise planet. <sighs> I know that navigating is difficult in this game, but it shouldn't be so difficult that I don't realise if I'm going home. Wait, no, this is not what I want. Now I recognise what that is. That's No, that's the anomaly. No! No, 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 it's not what we're doing. Why is that even up on my UI? I don't care about that right now. I'm just trying to find someone to just step into my base and progress with the quest storyline thing. 
And it's said to find them on station, so I'm going to this proper station. Not the anomaly, the anomaly is a different thing. We're going to the station, and it's going to have what I need, and I'm going to be like, why was it not there the first time I went here then? Because we went here. We went to the station right above my head. I made a point about going, let's go to the station above my head. I mean, I'm assuming only on stations, Cosmo. They might be elsewhere as well, but it's said on a station. This side, where all the NPCs mill around. This guy I've apparently not spoken to. And he's got new things to say. Sentinel, no, Gra. Something Sentinel Hunt, something Vikin Bodo, something, something, something. Just, just teach me things. You're clearly not the guy I'm looking for. Just teach me a word and we'll call it a day. Uh, you... Thank you. Wait. Wait. I haven't spoken to you, and I haven't spoken to you, and I haven't spoken... But this is the s station around my home system. I've visited this person. I've visited the... So how are there so many I've not visited? But again, this guy I don't understand him, so he's clearly not the person I'm trying to speak to. I just wanted the person from the terminal. Maybe, Cosmo, maybe. I, I hope that's the case. I don't know what's going on otherwise. Just just give me Dalek's help. Come with him, I don't know. Thank you, mate. Yeah, no, we saw this one early, didn't we? Okay, you. You, you stand out like a sore thumb here. And he's also not the one we're looking for. God. Just give me the... Just give me some word. Echoes. Yeah, cool. Right. I'm confused. Because we were clearly travelling here to speak to someone to operate a terminal at my base. The map led us here. But I'm not confusing that. The map led us here. Potential overseer recruit. That's what I'm looking for. Now is a symbol. Because it just keeps on selecting a different quest at random that it takes away the symbol of the thing I'm trying to do. Now it's got a symbol. Okay, let's just go to this one then. Wait. Are they... They're not on the other side. They're on the other side? Why? There's, there's never anyone over this side other than shop vendors. I came into a station early game and I saw this thing that looked like a door and I walked up to it and it didn't open and so I figured, okay, no, nope, that's just scenery and I moved on. I walked up to the door and nothing happened. Look how close I am. And it didn't open. I figured, oh, that's just a bit of scenery and moved on. I mean, I am in the door frame. This is actually shit tier design. Don't wave at me. Don't wave at me, you little shit. Your light's broken. <sighs> they expect you to face plant to a door? I'm not a face planter. Also, isn't this a game you're supposed to play in VR as well, or be able to play in VR? Why would you in VR want to get that close to stuff? Like, look, how close do I have to get? Look how close I am to that before it's open. 
What? I mean, if I look directly up, you can see the line of where I am in this door frame. I am very clearly in the door frame and it's not open yet. That, that is terrible. That is insultingly bad. Standing increased. Cool, thank you. So this exists on every station I've gone to, then. I, I can confidently assume this exists on every station I've gone to. Ah. Locked door. It's, see, that makes sense for it to still be shit. Oh, for God's sake. This is actually annoying. <laughs> I, I, I want to let it slide, but it's genuinely annoying. Is it really you? Forgive me, I've been searching for a long time. I'm contracted to aid you in this and every cycle. Don't worry, everything was paid for a long time ago. It's all quite above board. Then why the fuck are you hiding? Stranger speaks, a smell assaults me. A pheromone infested in my brain, giving me memories of places I've never visited, of actions I never took. These guys are so weird. Of a... Of myself in a mirror, aged and alone, of this get cradling their fallen brethren. Of a bargain made many years from now, a contract signed across the cosmos. The vision ends, the overseer remains. The overseer promises to expand my base, allowing me to recruit other workers. They require a construction terminal to get started. Well, I guess we hire you now. Yes, Tai Tai, I can tell. I'm familiar with the Atlas passes. There's something compelling about this gig. They shall feel at home in my home. Well, mate. Excellent. You've, you've joined the crew. Return to your base. I guess I shall. Right after I speak to this guy. The downbeat life form is studying the image of another young warrior on their pad. The pictured warrior looks virile and impressive. The pictured warrior looks virile and impressive. Okay. They have facial tendrils that are outstretched. They appear rich and of good breeding stock. The look in their eyes is sultry. Sorry, am I reading this guy's fan fiction? I feel like I'm reading this guy's fan fiction. Gra warrior except I whatever you're offering, I'm no, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm I'm out. I'm out. Bye bye. I don't know what's going on with you. I'm gonna, look at that. It even stops the walking. Slam. Slam. These are the worst automatic doors ever. We have better doors already here in the real world than this. What is that? What is... No. Screw that entire room. Screw that entire room. And it says go back to my base. There's no point in me even flying that, is there? It's pointing me to my ship to fly. Isn't it? Oh no, it's just pointing at the planet. Never mind. Well, the best way is to just teleport. Do the doors at my base need to get cl that close? We're about to find out, aren't we? We're about to find out, Cosmo. Let's have a look then, shall we? Maybe this entire game has just been one big bamboozle. No, I am quite a distance away from that one. Like, I've got other stuff in my vision there. That That is a comfortable distance. It's open before I would step into it. That That is a comfortable distance away. It's very quick to open and close. That would fix that. But yeah, that's a lot more comfortable. Alright, over to you. What do I need to know about you and your uh, hubcap hat? I know, Cosmo. I, I, I don't get it either. I don't get it. I have so much to learn, so much to see, and this place will be our home amidst the infinite. Why does this guy know my language? 
Take this glass and let starlight flood into your jolly home. Hey, I've learned how to make glass. It requires 40 frost crystals. You can be crafted from frost crystals extracted from plants on frozen worlds. Also refined from silicate powder. Right. Everything pours through the glass in the end, but there's time enough for that. There are other things we have to do. If you prepare chromatic metal, I'll use it to calibrate a science terminal suitable for a Corvax entity. The Corvax has suffered terribly at your hands by people. Be kind to them, I beg of you. Corvax, oh sorry, the overseer asked me to gather chromatic metal. Sure, let's do it. Okay. Um, just to wind back like 20 steps of, of this stream, I went to speak to Apollo because I was trying to follow the Artemis line and Apollo has said, your base isn't good enough yet, but what do we need to do? Go expand your base. I didn't realize that he meant that I needed to hire an entire crew. Have I been fobbed off? I really do feel like Apollo has fobbed me off here. <laughs> Don't wave like that. You stick your hand in your hat and that just looks stupid. Alright, refine some chromatic metal. Well, I suppose let's just turn some more copper into not copper. I need 11 of these. Let's just set until like, it gets to 11 and I'll just stop it. There we are. Oops, wrong button. Ta da Yeah, I just made it. Wait. I should have read what he said. I was just... Turn to the... first time the game just for some reason didn't update to the fact I thought I was a bit confused there was like oh why haven't you got it yet but I'm apologizing and now it's like thank you for getting it is anyone else lost I'd like to think I can keep up with a lot of things, but I'm really lost as to what this game thinks is happening. I... We have littered the universe in our greedy traveller. This planet is no exception, but there is much that can be done with litter. Make your way to a abandoned structure and harvest data from the terminals. I shall use it to fashion us plans for a storage container. Underlying Vulgar is reflected for a game. They almost seem to regret the greed that characterizes their people. They wish to make something new from rain to the old. Is this just greed in disguise? Something else. I wanted a storyline. Oh boy. Uh, whether the mode save the overseer claims, I'll find a data for storage container blueprint in a nearby structure. Okay. I'll find the blueprint for a storage container. Because the most important thing I need right now is a storage container. Because the only way I'm going to uh, get a storage container is to go find some abandoned wreckage somewhere. And this is important to the storyline. Somewhere out there, maybe one day, I shall discover the means to construct a storage container. Didn't he also need me to build a science terminal? Yeah. And he needs me to do it with chromatic metal, which he took. Okay, let's make some... Let's make some chromatic metal. 
This should actually be just enough. Thank goodness for that. Uh, let's also make some magnetized ferrite, for which I need to uh, shove this in here. That should be fine. This, uh... Yeah. This is definitely reminding me of the vibes I had on this game's release. In terms of what the actual effect you think you're trying to tell me. Alright, one science terminal. We'll put it in here with the rest of the stuff. Pop it right there. And let's hope that is not outside of building. Good, it's not going to be through. Alright, now it said that this one requires someone who is in a different star system. Higher base scientists from Corvac Space Station. Yeah, so we definitely need to go somewhere else. Recharge my life support. That was getting a little bit on the low side, and uh, if I take this teleporter, I can just go straight to a Corvac Station, right? So that one is the key. Corvax, perfect. Who needs to travel when you've already done the traveling? Just have to build a habit of using a mission marker. I say it keeps on taking the mission marker away from me. And also doing this whole Hey, let's take away your screen to show you some information. Doesn't need to have your screen taken away. I have a big enough screen, thank you. Because like, I was on the go to the machine stuff, and now it's automatically switched us to this. Look at all this stuff that's popping up. Like, it's got multiple tabs. We were doing this. And now this is its own quest line, apparently. So separate to sorting out the Overseer stuff, the Overseer told me to go get them some chromatic metal. And now this is its own separate objective from that. Like... Ah. You, are you a person who will join me in stuff? Unknown life form. Okay, I can already understand, so yes. I passed my test. Eh, you? I am free to... What well, is that word? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Googling this. Eh, you. Uh... Alas, it means. Okay, I've never heard of that. Oh shit, I clicked and it moved on. <laughs> Evidently it wasn't important. Just hire the scientist. Alas, think not of payments. Scanning you while you sleep will be... I think we're going back to the slapping. Esprit, you had it right all along. We need to start throw hand throwing out some hands here. Yeah, slappage needs to start happening. You're getting slapped. Esprit was right all along. Everyone here needs a slap. You need a slap, and you need a slap, and you need a slap. You, you, your holographic thing, you definitely need a slap. I don't care if it phases through you. Slap. <sighs> Warped base, but base face the third. Basey, but base face is turning out to be the most sensible thing in this game so far. Basey, but base face is the most sensible thing in this game. I don't get it. It's still a wonderful name, but I don't get it. What's going on? It's straight Jojo this shit? Maybe. Maybe I should just go find that black hole the game keeps talking about and just yeet myself into it. Scan that. Alright, 
Hello there, Mr. Research Entity Miziles. Is that what he all named his kid? Fine base traveller. As of course befits your honourable status. Oh, Corvax shall be so happy here. Neither their shell nor the walls of my base seem to contain them. Yeah, just a bit. Uh, welcome. I don't need your aid. I need you to just not scam me. To witness the monolith of the traveller. Honour, but please. Call back contribute. Take these blueprints. Lubricant and acid. Liquid close to Corvax parts. He shall scam me while I sleep, and he is now giving me lube. And acid. Never mind that to recruit the Gek on our right, we went into a room where you have to face plant into the door. And after face planting into the door, the person we meet in there, the uh, Vakeen, seemed to be in the midst of making a fan fiction slash uh, slutty novel. I. <laughs> What is happening in this session of No Man's Sky? What is this storyline? I don't remember signing up for... Uh, what, was, what was the age rating on this game again? I was here to explore. This is not the kind of exploring I mean. I, I was here to explore planets, not explore Grinder. Traveller, harvest Maribor and Corvax will do more. We'll create plans for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Corvax will clean windows while you are gone. Simp. Sure, I'll get you resources. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's looking that way, Gorilla, isn't it? It's looking that way. It is looking that way. At least we're getting blueprints for things, I guess. But, uh... I'm, that is their room. This is my room. And I'm going to put a giant laser force field here. And I'm going to lock this door forever. Does, does this universe have locks? I haven't seen a lock anywhere yet. No, I've seen I've seen the Alice Pass locks. Never mind. There are locks. I need to figure out how I can make my own. Because <laughs> this, this is going to need it. What are these people? What are these people? Barricade the door. You know what? I might just make my own base somewhere else. And th this will be a research base. And I will sleep on a different planet. I feel like that might... That'll work. And temporarily. Until such time as I'm satisfied with that. Maybe I can, you know, just kind of hole up in here. With my hovering electricity symbol telling me it needs electricity. Maybe this guy got the wrong idea. You know what? It might actually be my fault. I did tell him that I live on a paradise planet. Maybe he got the wrong idea from that. You know? Oh god, he's waving at me. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. What's the objective? Return to space and contact Apollo. Oh, hey, look, that, excellent. We can just move on. Let's go. No, no more of this fobbing me off over hiring. Did Apollo just? Apollo just got me to hire his brother or something, or his cousin. The dude who is so weird and can't hold down a job. Apollo just tricked me into hiring his weird cousin. That son of a bitch. Actual son of a bitch. Just trying to set that guy up. One of those things. Either trying to get him set up, or just trying to get him into a job because he can't hold down one. Whatever it is, Apollo, you have a lot to answer for. I should have asked to pay him. I should have just found a way to pay him. Alright. Apollo, the fuck, mate? 
How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. What are units for if not to assert dominance over your fellow life bombs? But on to more important things. Also, I just noticed he has clamps for hands. It's... Wow. 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 Yeah, Grail, don't, don't dwell on it. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. <laughs> Bit late for that! I died on the way to get the uh, people together for this uh, base that you told me to do. Good job on that one. You can find nanite clusters scattered in the pound of buildings and other damaged ma machines. Ironic, really. The same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Okay. Trade these with merchants and space stations to get to... I know all this! Take this personal force field blueprint. If you're, you're going to need it, consider it my gift. Oh, well, thank you. Pretty certain I already had that. Pretty pretty certain I already had that technology known to me. But now I've got to actually install it into my multi-tool. My multi-tool which has no space for... Pop this here for a second. And then let's go there. Yeah, I definitely already had that. I definitely already knew that. It's all just glorified tutorial. So, okay, die tight. You clearly know a lot about what's going on and you want to share, so pick your brain on this. These three primary missions, do they stop being tutorials and actually lead to story again? Because there was story going on with Artemis and that's what I thought we were going to explore here today. But so far I've just been told to make another base on my base and fill my base with people. And they're not even in the base room that I just made. They're in the one that I had before rather than a cylinder. Does this stop being tutorial? <laughs> because otherwise I'm just going to do something else in this game. Kind of not. Fuck. What do I need to build the uh, Sigma Jig? I need iron battery and wiring loom. I need two iron batteries. I could probably just make two of those right here, right now. Let's have a look. Uh, nope, never mind. I can't. I need cobalt. All right, let's find some cobalt. <laughs> need a thing to get the thing to do the thing. You, planet over here. Allow me to scan you. Please. Alright, there we are. It's finally telling me that has not got cobalt. Have you got cobalt? You have. Excellent. Okay. Go this way. No, Taita, it's, it's more uh, the game providing primary missions and they're actually just drawn out tutorials of the same thing. I already have a base. What's the deal with the space anomaly? Uh, you know what? Yeah. As soon as I've got the cobalt here, I will show you what's up with that. Also, I need to refuel. That was a little bit jocking to come back to it just that moment. Yeah, as soon as I've got a little bit of cobalt cut, I will show you. Alright, if I do a quick scan... Oh, that looks like something to mine. Excellent, let's just land right here. Scan. Not the scan I was looking for. No, no. Oh, yeah, I took off the visor for thing. God damn it. Ah! Sod it. I will store this instead. This I will reinstall. There we go. I mean, sack. Definitely not what I want. Oh, I thought I landed further away. Here we go. And what is this? This is rusted metal. Damn it. No, I did not want that. I want cobalt. 
Metal. Metal, metal, copper. There's cobalt here, right? Yeah, there is cobalt here. I just need to find it. Cobalt, there we go. This is the first planet. Oh, the, the ice ball from the first stream. You can see as well by the lower gravity. This time, because of the off-camera mining and development I did, I have more jetpack. That shows the difference. Look at how easily I just glided from all the way over there. That really demonstrates the uh, difference in gravity. All right. Gib Cobalt. I think that's all of it. Hopefully it is enough. So, I need to build two of these. And then... I need to get one wiring loom, which is another thing I need to go purchase from somewhere, so... Head back to the ship. And as promised, Katon, I will head over to the anomaly. Almost got to the ship with that. Almost managed to fly all the way to the ship. There we go. Launch thrusters have run out, so I shall refuel that as well before I forget. Uh, I should probably make ship launch fuel because that'll be more efficient. There we go. All right, engage your pulse drive. Let's head to the anomaly. Wonder if I can buy wires there? Maybe. Maybe. Fingers crossed. That would be very convenient. Hello, Tascape. How are you doing? Emergency broadcast. Help. Distress frequency. Okay, let's have a look. What's going on? Reject their lies. Follow us to freedom. Okay, I'll take your coordinates. Is that yet another... That's yet another secondary mission. An abandoned drifting starship was broadcasting a strange message as well as a set of coordinates. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm done with the pronoun game. Don't say their lies. Give me their name. I'm just going to continue to anomaly. That's what we were doing. At this po point, I've met enough they with enough things to say. But they have to be more specific. So this is the anomaly, Katok. And that white out, as it were, is very intentional. Because you'll notice, despite the fact that I've been playing this game on single player, it is in fact very definitely not single player. There goes Beaky. I don't know who Beaky is. Your Dill on console. Random Pants on console. Who else we got around here? Looper Allen, they're on Steam. So this is the hub of real people. <laughs> this is how it all connects. Feed pluck. And that's random pants again. We got Looper Allen. Steel John. Just kind of sat doing their own thing. So, to my understanding so far, what I can tell is that 
Uh, there are multiple universes intersecting. And this station of sorts is the intersection. So out through that doorway is my world, but it is also that person's world and that person's and that person's and that person's, whichever one we choose to go to, if we're going with them. Do whatever it's human to do that thing. There are... And it has crossplay and everything. So we can see with the icons. Now I saw the other day, if I keep looking around, I might see one. I was just hoping to see one sooner. I saw the other day when I loaded into this, a PlayStation icon, I think. We've got Steam. I'm seeing plenty of Steam icons. I'm seeing console. It's just a controller. Apparently, at least in its appearance. Damn it, I was hoping I was going to see another PlayStation icon to continue with that thought. But as it's not popping up now, that kind of defeats what I was going to talk about. Because there's none here. So never mind on that one. Alright, is there a trade terminal of sorts here? That's a mission hub thing, so that's not what I'm looking for. I was just hoping... Oh, okay, they just vanished. I was kind of hoping for a uh, galactic trade terminal, but I'm not recognising anything that looks like that. Oh yeah, and Quicksilver. I don't know what that is, but I know I have none of it. Oh yeah, so this is... Basically, a meta game location. As far as I can put together. Like I say, I'm still trying to figure out where the hell the storyline went. It seems to have slipped out from under me. Yeah. It certainly evolved from what it was on the game's release. On the game's release, it was not even that, because the multiplayer at that time was a lie. Alright, let's see. So what's this over here? So that is the signal echo coordinates. So that's where that weird random ship was trying to tell me to go. I'll be honest with you, chat. This feels like the most storied moment we've come across in the last, like, hour. So, sod it. Let's see what they have to say about the other they. You'll still be single player as long as no one else is in the party? That's intentional, yeah. I disabled the uh, ability for multiplayer to just kind of spontaneously start happening. Exactly, Cosmo, yeah. Yeah. Sean Murray, who is head of uh, the whole project, was like, oh yeah, no, the chance of two people intersecting is so unfathomably low because it's, it's an entire universe. And in less than a day, very cool, great, in less than a day, Two people managed to get to the exact same planet, exact same coordinates, at the exact same time. Not only could they not see each other, but on top of that, one of them was there at daytime, one of them was there at nighttime. So uh, on release, it was proven to be an absolute fabrication. Which was a problem. Alright. Uh, it's time me to go this way. About 500 units. Not sure exactly how many, but roughly 500 this way. Hello, Gamble. Hello, EDM. Plonk my feet here. Yeah, keep going this way. Oh, balls. How screen? Perplexing. It's about as perplexing as having a symmetric gender. Where's your EDM? None today. Oh, somewhere this way. <clears throat> oh. Perplexing is definitely the word for it? Yeah. Yeah. I still don't know how I ended up back at the solar system I started at. That, that's the thing that's throwing me the most. That I had to go out on a journey to go find someone, and after starting at the station above my own base, somehow it told me I had to travel 700 light years to my own base. I swear I must have just made a mistake somewhere, but that seemed just funky. Uh... 
Alright then. What do you got for me, you broken shit? What do you got for me? There's nothing here but the stress beacon of a crashed starship. There is no sign of life. Well, I'll give me the logs then. I attempt to salvage what I can from the log of the crashed ship. Simply through the diagnostic data, they appear to have been the victim of a sudden, overwhelming assault. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Among the endless data, the countless warnings and errors triggered by the flames that consume the ship, there is a fragment recording a window into the starship's final moments. I... okay, cool. I, I know the word down. Suddenly the voice changes, muffled shouts of the pilot fade away. Cut through both words and ring out in a clear and powerful tone. Resist the red. We shall cut out its crimson eye. Yeah, let's say the red is probably a bit weaker. Why not? Death to the Scarlet Pirate. Oh, what the? Not again. Not again. No. Okay, they don't appear to be chasing me this time. Just suddenly jumping me with four sentinels. What is that? What is that? Snipe them? I don't think this really works as a sniper, but I can try. I have repaired my weapon, yes. Let's try this. I mean, I can't tell if this is hurting it or not. That killed it. <laughs> what? Okay, these sentinels are apparently of the dumb variety. I'm, I'm cool with that. Let's just take these ones out. If Warframe is a game to be cheesed, apparently so is No Man's Sky. Two down. Yep. Oh, hello. Oh, they figured it out. Wait, no, I tell a lie, they haven't figured it out. Over here. Hello. No. Nope, he ain't figured it out. Okay. You didn't think this would work? I'll be honest, I didn't think this would work either. I thought that would immediately get their attention, they'd all swarm over. Ah. Uh, Instead, this is actually slightly embarrassing for the Sentinels, not gonna lie. That's actually slightly embarrassing. I guess I'll, uh, get some loot. Yep. I will... I will, I will just get some loot. This is, uh... The most threatening thing is the fact that my life support is going down over time. That was, that was weird compared to what we had earlier. Well, let's loot the air room. Definitely one of the games of all time. Yes, that, that, that is in fact a uh, statement. Ooh, a bit of antimatter, don't mind if I do. Antimatter definitely will not go amiss here. There we go. Looted that general stuff. Now we've got this ship here to have a look at. Let's see. Soaring thingamajig, whatever. That is a lot of red. That is a hell of a lot of red. Uh... <laughs> So that, that is just a bunch of stuff filling up the inventory slots, isn't it? It's got a pulse engine, launch thrusters, hyperdrive, just like mine, deflector shield, a shield bonus thing, and then just a bunch of crap that needs fixing to remove it from blocking the slot. 
Yeah, repairing this damage will free up the slot for general inventory use. So all of this slot on the second and third rows is just trash blocking the slots. And all of this is trash blocking the cargo slots. And all for what? Uh, my ship has half the value, apparently. Half the value. And I'll be quite honest with you, I don't see why. I'm going to leave this here. I... Yeah, I'm just going to leave that right there. I'm more interested in this very technology module. Maybe that will be useful to me. Lovely jubbly. Uh, I think, actually, my exosuit has... Yep, I've reached a stack of salvage data. I should probably use this at some point. Cool. Alright, where was my ship again? That way. This has been... an encounter. Yes, let's, uh... I can sell it. I could sell it for the credits as well. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Godfriend tells you there are living ships. We can't say why they're more useful than any other fashion. Oh, okay. Apparently expensive as well. I mean, fashion is expensive, so that's a thing. That tracks. Uh, so I'm saying, you know, speaking of marketing No Man's Sky, I was actually fairly disappointed to see Cyberpunk win the Steam reward for Labour of Love. Not surprising, but No Man's Sky needed millions. Uh, marketing and launch disaster. I also feel like DRG or Project Zomboid didn't have that type of disaster. Uh, Project Zombound's been in development for some long. Got the game. Before I left middle school. Fair enough, Zom. Fair. I don't follow Steam awards. Actually, I don't follow awards in general, I'll be quite honest with you. Pretty much everything I have learned about video game awards and movie awards and music awards, I have learned against my will. Pretty much. And uh, the main takeaway that I pretty much come across is they are either political, and I don't mean that as in voting for who are, but I mean political as in it's all about a bit of backhanded politics so concessions for this to get that or the awards of popularity contests that's pretty much the vast majority of all awards I seem to have been forced to learn about so unless I come across something which has actual credit to it I just ignore the awards they are functionally meaningless to me that's the way I see it Alright. Yeah, Gorilla. Yeah. Exactly that kind of thing. It's like... I don't know who's in control of defining game of the year or best in this category, best in that, but a lot of the time it's just politics, popularity, or both. I'll stick to my own reviews. And the reviews of people I can trust, which are very few and far between. Right, uh, where did this thing get us up to? So, uh, it's saying that we should go to the new coordinates? Did I not do the, the, these original coordinates? No, no. It's going to be on the map, isn't it? No current mission. Reject their lies, follow us to freedom, yada yada. I went there. I went to the thing. And then it gave me a new thing. And now I don't know where that new thing is.
Also, I have all of this salvage data fleeing on my exosuits. I have no idea what exactly I want to spend that on. Oh, run it. Oh, ah. Right. Okay. I didn't just pick up a rendezvous beacon. I was supposed to deploy the run. What's that? What is that? I'm sure something stupid will happen if I fly into it. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Well, sure, let's land again and deploy the beacon and see what happens. A nebula? A nebula, not that big. Uh, that tiny, yeah. That was a big old nothing. It was pretty, yeah. Pretty nothing. <laughs> I'm trying to follow what's trying to happen in this game, and I swear to God, it's pulling me in 20 directions and none of them make sense. None of them. Like, I feel like this game might almost become more enjoyable if I just turned off every alert of mission progress and whatnot. Just fucking went. Uh, so. None of these are the things, so do I deploy it from here? I just needed to activate it as soon as I picked it up. That kind of just happened. Alright. That way. Off planet. Crying out. All right. Let's get out of the atmosphere quick as we can. There we go. Oh, that load lag. Let's head to the rendezvous. What? Now what? Oh. Well, if you're going to approach it right in front of me, I'm just going to shoot you. Sod it. Okay, that, that is a lot of guns. That is, that is a lot. Oh, God, that is a lot of guns. This went from 0 to 11 very quickly. Uh, where's my target go? That is not the one with the weakened shields. Shit. Fast loop, fast loop, fast loop. Fast loop. Uh, this is not as maneuverable as my railjack, and I am taking a lot of hits from four ships at once. Uh, quick charge shields. I don't care what I'm consuming, I just need to keep those shields up at all costs. You there. That's a rock. Why is my screen whiting out? Oh my god. This might actually be the worst environment to fight in. Why is my speed wiping out? Okay. There we go. <laughs> I am taking so many hits. Yeah. Where's recharge? This is not a fast way of recharging. How many ships are on me right now? I thought there were four, but it feels like there's more than that. No, there is four. Okay. Oh, I tried traveling for a bit. I was just taking more damage cats on. And I've disabled my full drive. That one has low shields. Okay, that just cost me a lot of my shield. There we go. Okay, weakening, weakening, weakening. Switch to the thing that deals with them when they have their shields. Come on, come on, follow the trail, follow the trail, follow the trail. One down. I think. God, the maneuverability on this is terrible. I do not have the upgrades for this. Not helpful. 
Okay. Try and pull a wide circle. Slow to turn. Ah, take a lot of damage and she'll recharge that quick. I do not have any maneuverability. And they have all of it. I've taken out one of them. I don't know how many more times I can recharge my shields. I'm not getting behind them. But I do not have the gear for this. Yeah, I did believe it very fast. The rocket is very powerful, but I need to get rid of their shields first to use it. Oh shit, I'm out of that. Okay, that's not good. That is not good. I am probably dying here. Yeah. Ah. I was not prepared for this. Come on. I'm fighting with the uh, controls here. They are so drifty. What's even the one I was shooting at? I want the one that has no shields. I can't even keep track of who's who. Yeah, no, I can't get to space station. Too far away. Pulse drive disabled. That's the thing that makes it go fast. That thing's got a lot of shields. That's not the one I want. Where's the one that just popped the shields on? I popped one of their shields. Don't tell me they're recharging as well. Because if they're recharging as well, I'm dead. If they're recharging as well. There's no way I can do this. Why? I've got shields. How am I taking critical damage on anything? I've got shields. Stop regenerating. Another one down. My shields have never dropped and I'm taking damage from a system. Actual cop one of the game. Okay, well there are only two of them now. It's easier to track who I am shooting at. Thank you for the Bikin Evergy game. This is not the time to tell me about that. That should have taken him out. One left to go. I might actually be stabilizing here. God knows how many resources I've earned through. Quick charge. So glad I pick up everything. I don't know, Daitai. This is not the time for me to think about what different controls I can try and switch to. Oh, he's fully recharged as well. Son of a bitch. What level of stuff is this? Stop regenerating your fucking bubble. Come on. Stop. Stop regenerating! Stop it, please! I can't catch ya! Why was there a rendezvous beacon to hostile ships? Okay, getting him low, and again my screen is getting white, this is not helpful. Ah, come on. Can, it is so difficult to control this. I feel like it is drifting. Why is my screen so goddamn white? It's like I'm trying to look through a glass of milk. He keeps on regening every time I manage to catch up. Aiming at it, he's regened so much. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, come, come, come on.
Jesus. Journey milestone accomplished. Yes, I'll imagine so. Ah. How much resources do I have left? I had nearly run out. I was using sodium to charge. I have 16 left, and I've got sodium nitrate to charge with. 21 would charge my shield to max. I've got 29. Oh, and another 42. Okay, I had like two recharges left. That's how close that got there. Two recharges left, and it has also destroyed this drive, which that's going to cost. Good God. Cheers. Uh, communicator. Slash communicator. Answer. Hello. You wish to follow us to seize your freedom to reject the grand lies of the Atlas. I don't even know who the Atlas is at this point. The Atlas has not been introduced to me. Do you know what I do know? My ship just got absolutely fucked trying to follow your stupid little signal to this rendezvous point which is filled with wreckage and now you're apparently alive and communicating to me. Whoever you are, Voice of Freedom, you've got some explaining to do, and you've got to do it right now. We shall see if you are worthy. Worthy. I'm dismissing you. Fuck you. You have lost the right, the privilege to contact me. Fuck off. My ship is battered, my resources depleted. No explanation. And where are the police? Are there not police in this system? It's a derelict freighter. That's also the police? Yeah, they did a bang up job there, didn't they, Sparky? Arrive voice of freedom. I... I'll go there. Specifically so I can slap the person who got me into this trouble. Yeah, I don't think there's an actual police force in this game, can't talk about. It's not like Elite. Or, you know, anything else civilized. The voice of freedom deserves a slap. Oh, slap is a casual term at this point, Cosmo. I'll see what I can actually achieve here. It feels like I'm about to be scripted into following some cult, and quite frankly, I'm just going to turn off that mission if that's the case. If it's about to just send me onto a cult journey, I'm turning off the mission. There's a landing spot. Yeah, yeeting people into the black hole is definitely kind of rocking here, isn't it? Oh, look at that. It's 79 degrees because we're on the cooking planet. Filled with fire. Brimstone. Right. I'll speak to you, and then I'm looting your base. And if you're very, very lucky, I might leave here having not commit genocide. <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't even get to speak to a person. Oh, for crying out. Magical. Thank you, Adamai, for the 105. Glorious survivor, welcome. The path to liberty is... <coughs> shall be our own masters. <coughs> Rid of the crimson illusion. A sky for the strong. Broadcast finished, the terminal begins printing a secure pass, an invitation it seems to meet this voice of freedom. I'll accept it, I ain't gonna use it. I will leave you waiting for me to arrive. You've received a notification, I'm on my way, and you can just sit there like the absolute lemon you are. Shit. I'm losing this entire base. I would tear it to the ground if that was physically possible here, but it ain't. Locked requires that. Oh, fuck you. Screw 
through this entire structure. I got absolutely bashed around. My ship is damaged. And is anyone going to to that? What an absolute travesty this location is. This whole line. I thought it was going to be a call to adventure. Instead, it's a call to a cult. Look at this stupid Ikea. But it just sit like hell. In this temperature? No, thank you. What, what even... I am aware. Can I... Can I actually do some destruction here? I can undermine your base. I get the feeling I am not supposed to... Really? No Man's Sky, really? Uh, really now? Oh no. No, now that, that's cheap. That is cheap. What is that? No. 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 You, no. No. Ah. Uh. Some things you can accept in a video gamey sense. Some things you can take. But it does reach a limit. When you've got these structures, these are clearly defined, created, designed structures. And you know the player is going to travel under them. You know they're going to do this. All it needs is a single texture right there. One texture. I. Now the game's like, oh, your inventory's full. Don't you want to deal with that? If I recall, actually, wasn't I in the process of making a goddamn shield? Because I need the wiring loom for it. Your inventory's goddamn full. What am I holding on to here? I'm holding on to a ticket to freedom. Accept invitation. In location on navigation systems. Uh, sure. If it gets it out of my inventory. Get it out of my inventory. Why is there a sensor on Whatever, 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 whatever. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can open this up to get some resource out of it. Well, I don't have much of an inventory right now, so I'm going to not do that. Uh, this I'm just going to reinstall into my multi-tool, and I will deal with the shield thing later. Let's continue looting this spot. Here we go. That's the loot I wanted. What have you got for me? Could have sold it for 88 credits. Oh, that's not even worth it. Ooh, Starship Launch Fuel. Well, that is actually useful. Anything of value in here? Nanites. And... A few hundred credits. Okay, that is... Considering how much I get for scanning a plant, uh, I, I, I could have gone without that, to be honest. This whole base is a dump. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm just leaving. So, um... <clears throat> I think I started here with like three things here and two or three down here. It's like... It's just trying to advise that I can find 12 more plants and 10 more minerals. Okay. There's some Nexus mission thing going on that... I don't actually know about any of that, to be honest with you. Search base computer archives, that's another thing going on, and then it's like, reach the promised star! Yeah, it's definitely not happening. Where is the cancel mission on that one? 
Install a plasma launcher. When did that even pop up? Seriously, when did that unpin for me? Well, that's taken something off the list. That's good. Okay. The settlers, that was a stupid ass call to action. Like, hey, look, you can just, uh, you can come on over to us and uh, help us by becoming our man. For God's sake. Can I upgrade the combat capabilities of the ship to become a space pirate? I think I can upgrade it to be a space pirate. I don't know if I want to be a space pirate, but yeah, I'm fairly certain you could do that. Oh, hang on. What was that? Never mind. None of them born. Uh, I need to fix this. Which means I need more copper. Wow. But yes, I should be able to get things which will make me more maneuverable. I imagine that kind of thing exists. Or get a better ship to be more maneuverable. Because there is a maneuverability rating. And you can see here, the photon cannon was doing 1,713 DPS. And it's pew, 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 pew. And this thing apparently has... 2000 DPS and it's also just a single launch, which is why it kind of blapped the thing I shot to that, but it does next to nothing against the shields, comparatively. That's why I was shooting with that and then switching to that. Oh boy. At least whilst I'm in the ship, I can move that over and uh, let's see what's inside. We got a quantum computer. Okay, next. Gave us, I don't even know what it gave me there. And it's giving me hydraulic wiring. This all just look, feels like trash. Yeah, I feel like I've just picked up some random trash. Oh, yeah. uh, make it's you, to make you, to put you into that. So at least I can charge my warp drive. Nope, not going to the coordinates. Those coordinates do not matter. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's the whole, hey, we can search this and get the data that, that Gek wanted. I'm not doing that either. <laughs> I'm actually completely all over all of that. No, flip the ship around that fast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Apparently, have an entire fleet just here next to me. Jesus, it's so funny. How many of them are you? That is a lot of ships. Holy hell. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go the other way. Are they hostile? I don't know. And to be quite honest, if they are, I should probably be gone already. <laughs> Let me just get out of their way. That was a lot of ships, and I did recently just, you know, snub someone's invite, so... Now let's go. May you live an interesting life is proving to be a curse once again even in this game. Uh, oh shit, where's the entrance? Ah, where's the entrance? Here we go. God, the maneuverability on this thing is so sluggish. I need a better ship. I definitely need a better ship. That's that's the point of call. Be better multi-tool, better ship, better everything. And this guy here, I believe, Bell Starship Research, yeah. But, uh, weak minded interloper, your equipment, something me. Whatever. Yo, okay, let's see. What have you got that's high rated? Because I've got I've got 2,000 nanites. I, I can afford the really cool stuff. Uh, infra knife module, extremely powerful upgrade for the infra knife. I don't have an infra knife. Cyclotron, I don't have a cyclotron. A grades, an infra knife and cyclotron. What? I mean, there's the budget upgrade for my photon cannon, but that's budget. I don't. I can afford better than budget. Okay, I have more walls tall. Yeah, I need more slots, don't I? And this this is one of the ways of doing that. I can add slots. Oh, it's 140,000 units. Oh, that's actually very doable. 140,000 units is very doable. I'm just gonna... 
Yeah, sounds good to me. 150,000? You know what? Do it again. 200,000? Okay, we'll stop there for now. There we go. That's nice. That is nice, which means that I can finish off that and give myself a force field. So, wiring loom. Yep. I can have multiple guns. Oh! Oh, that's a thing. I did not know that, I so fair enough. The game did not get around to telling me that one. So, is this a door or am I about to face plan? Both, apparently. Am I supposed to even be in here? Whatever, I'm gonna take some of your leaves. Nanites. What? Why? What is this room? I walk it. Yeah, I'm. Just, I'm gonna start walking and stuff like it's a Minecraft painting. Oh, I can. I can clip the camera through now. Yeah, here we come on. Do it just right. There it is. Look at that clipping. Anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, maybe don't encourage your players to faceplant terrain. That's how I put that. What even was that room? What? Why, why is there just a random unused room on a space station? Like, space is a premium on a space station, you know? You can't just go around having empty rooms. There we go. Got a force field now. Good stuff. If possible, don't encourage your players to break the game. Yeah. yeah basically, yeah. Alright, uh, I need to fix this. I need wiring loom, chromatic metal. Okay, let's get two more wiring looms. God, this is expensive. Especially because here it's 44% more. I should probably go somewhere else. I got a portal. Let's see. Where can I go that's not going to cost an arm and a leg? Let's go to. Well, let's let's have a look. Uh, let's see. Economy, engineering, sustainable. That sounds good. Let's see what the others have to say. Industrial and promising. High tech, wealthy. Does wealthy mean they're gonna? Be expensive or does it mean that they've got loads available? Let's see. Expensive or available? Let's see what they have. I'm hoping it means loads available, but it might turn out that they just overcharge everything because they got money to spare. I don't know. Alright, hello other station that is almost identical. Have to skip because I don't need that long ass intro to block off gameplay. Uh, yeah, it's still t plus 20%. It's not as high as the other one, but it's plus 20%. So, uh, space station. Do, 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 do. And in structure. Oh, I'm gonna guess that's for the. Quest line. I'm going to ignore that. Jakova, you have engineering sustainable, you have tech promising, manufacturing comfortable, industrial unpromising, high tech balanced, energy supply advanced. Uh, let's go to that one. Balanced sounds good. Balanced sounds good. Go to over the loading screen. All this to save maybe 40,000 credits, but you know, it's what we do. I mean, given the fact that you can just step through a portal and teleport, like, how are there different prices anyway? <laughs> Requesting dark mode for loading screen? Yeah, I can't fix that. Uh, wiring loom. Ah, there we go. Yep, I brought it down from 100,000 to 65,000. There we go. That was worth the journey, I guess. Now I just need chromatic metal, 122. Do you sell chromatic metal? 
No, of course you don't. Why would you? That'd be too easy. You sell copper, and quite a bit of it. I can buy out their entire stock for just 20,000 credits. That's all it. Easy. Go to my base. Go craft it. Two for the price of one, near enough. The air catalog, yeah. A little bit of hopping around actually made quite the discount there. In fact, it made more of a discount than the entire cost of the copper I just purchased rather than go mining it. I call that an absolute win. Yeah, Gamble. It, you know what's worse? You, you're saying that there, Gamble? You know what's worse than just the fact that this loading screen is quite bright? When I load in, let me show you why it's worse. Now I've got control again. If I go into the settings here, and go into the log, options. Uh, was it in general options? Yeah, here we are. Flash to white transitions disabled. Because in parts of this game, it literally just has transitions where, by default, it would just white out your screen. Like if you activate a navigational marker thing. Just and with that setting, it instead flashes to black. So the screen fades out and back, rather than fades up and back. So they already know that flash to white is actually a problem. And by default, that is on. They already know it's a problem for people. They know that they can not do it. And flash to black is just fine, by the way. It does the exact same job. But then they have these bright ass things, bright ass transitions. I. Why? How does someone get to the wherewithal of knowing that flashing to white is a bad thing and then just only half assed? Well, this whole game is half assed, isn't it? It really is. I'll be quite honest with you. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's getting a bit of crap. <laughs> right. You there. Possible refiner. Didn't I have fuel in this before? Yeah, it's, it's just eating my fuel. I did. I, I put stuff in here to refine, and I definitely didn't use up all the fuel. So the fuel that I had in there has been eaten. Cool. I, I've got limitless supplies, right? Definitely didn't burn up a lot being attacked out of the blue for no good reason. I mean, it's it's a small amount of material, but it's the fact that it takes it. We had our metal to fix up the ship from the damage that we took from a storyline about a cult, as far as I'm concerned. Should shove the freedom ticket in there. Oh, the freedom ticket. We'll already use that one. I, I shoved that out of my inventory. I, I, I tore it into pieces and it said, hey, congratulations. You want to go this way? I'm like, yeah, I really don't. I really don't want to go that way. Uh, can't stop opening the starship menu. I'm in my suit. Let's just transfer some of this stuff to storage. Uh, Fikium, whatever that is, that can go that way. Uh, thermal protection module, I've got nowhere to put it. I can, I can sell it for nanites. I guess I'll do that at some point. Uh, Pugnium, that can go into storage, don't need to be holding on to that. Uh, viscous fluids can go in storage. I'll process that another day. Wiring loom. Yeah, I'm using that in seconds. So I'll get around to that. Cadmium can just sit there. I've got 233 bits. That's all right. How are we doing on this? Nearly processed? Oh, look at that timing. Absolute legendary timing right there. And there we go. This will now be fixed. Imagine if for my graphos is to delete your goal. I know, right? The thing is, my, my concern is that because that happens to the fuel, I think that also happens to the stuff you have in here. So if you'd set a whole bunch of stuff processing and then walked away and came back, there's a chance it might not be there. Which makes the whole industrial setup approach that it kind of almost seems to want to encourage you to do of sets and return dangerous because you'll just lose it if it feels like it 
And it's like, hang about. What, why are we disincentivizing? Yeah. Exploring? This is an exploration game. What, what, what are we doing here? So what we're doing, chat, what we're doing here is we're getting into this ship and we're getting out because that is how you save the game. And I think that is where we're going to wrap this one up. I'm mostly actually annoyed that this log of stuff continues to get longer whilst this one actually for a while just fobbed me off. Genuinely was like, okay, yeah, now you need to go speak to Apollo, and Apollo's like, no, go build your base. I won't speak to you. I know that uh, my friend Artemis, who is not a friend because we don't use the word friend, I know that the person I know called Artemis is in trouble, and you've given me proof of that. Fuck off. Go build a base. Go recruit my cousin. He thinks you're cute. <sighs> no Man's Guy. Do better. Alright, chat. I, I wish I could end that on a more positive note, but yeah. That, I'm working with what I got here. <laughs> it really makes you appreciate Warframe, doesn't it? It really makes you appreciate Warframe. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Have a good one.